Onvis is jumping onto the Thread bandwagon with an update to its contact sensor, the CT3. The Onvis CT3 door and window contact sensor is, as its name implies, a contact sensor that works with HomeKit over Thread. While a door and window sensor would jump for, it's good to see options on the market with Thread support. The other options are the Eve contact sensor, which works with Thread and Matter, but you'll also have the Akara sensor that requires the Akara hub and will soon support Matter. Now let's jump into all the details about the CT3 sensor, see how it performs, and let's see how I got on with it. Just to be absolutely clear, this video is not sponsored by Onvis in any way. In fact, HomeKit Authority bought this product ourselves, and this is gonna be a full, transparent, and honest review. You can check out the links in the description below to help this channel out at no extra cost to you if you think about buying this. Starting with the design and features, the Onvis sensor comprises two compartments, a large main sensor with all the smarts inside, then the other components is much smaller and features a magnet and both have double-sided sticker on the rear to attach to a surface. Onvis has stuck the HomeKit setup code on the main sensor, but you can peel this off, but interestingly, also put a smaller version on the side of the device along with the serial and MAC address details. At one of the device you also find the reset hole. The CT3 door and window sensor uses thread and Bluetooth Low Energy 5.0 and it's powered by a CR2550 battery. Onvis does claim that it will offer one year of standby time when using thread connectivity. The Onvis CT3 does not need a hub or any cloud connection but if you want to take advantage of thread then you need a homepod mini or the apple tv 4k to act as a thread border router in the box you also get some spaces that are designed for door or window where the different parts of the placement area don't quite align these allow for the magnet and sensor unit to be aligned correctly depending on the window or door that you're going to be putting these on based on looking at previous generation pictures of the CT2, Onvis has taken on board feedback around the logo size and placement. Finally, and probably always to some, the CT3 is not waterproof, so it cannot be used outdoors. Now let's move on to setup and getting started. Setting with the device is fairly straightforward. I decided to put these on my bifold indoors to see if I left it open or not when I went out. All you need to do is attach one piece on the door and the other on the other side. Just make sure that the alignment markings on each piece line up with each other. You may need to use included spaces depending on your area, but in my case, I didn't need to do that. The final step is setting up in HomeKit. Once you open up the app on your iOS device, you tap add accessory, then you start the pairing process by scanning the code and following the instructions, which involves assigning it to a room, naming the device, and adding it to any automations. All in all, it took me about 10 minutes. This was opening the box to having it working in HomeKit. This for me is a major selling point for any HomeKit accessory, and I'm glad that the setup process was very easy. So moving on to using the CT3 sensor in HomeKit. For viewing the status of the device, it will appear on the top of the screen with a status. If you long press on the sensor icon, this brings up settings for the CT2 in the app. In this section, you get the option to change the name of the device. You can see the current status of the sensor and also battery level. You also get options to change the type of sensor is attached with the options of blinds, contact sensor, door, garage door, and window from there. Each option has different icons you can choose from to represent the sensor type you've chosen, except for contact sensor. This is just simply one icon. I chose a double door icon. As I previously said, I had attached it to my bifold indoors. In terms of other features, you can set the CT3 to trigger HomeKit notifications whether the door or the window opens. So using the app, you can decide whether you will get the alerts all the time, only during the day, on at night or specific times. You can also choose only to get notifications when someone is home or when you're home or when you're away or nobody's home. You've also got automations and to make use of the CC3, you can add the sensor to a wide variety of automations. So for example, the sensor could trigger 
a lighting scene when you walk in the door. Another option, you could make the sensor turn down your HomeKit enabled smart thermostat when a window is opened. Finally, an idea is to change the color of the light to warn you that the sensor has been tripped. Just a short request before we continue with this video, this channel is dedicated to everything HomeKit. We cover news, reviews, and tutorials. So don't forget, if you're liking what you see, and check out the rest of the channel. We've got other videos all about HomeKit, Matter, and all those great things to do with a smart home. And if you like what you see, then we greatly appreciate it. And it helps this channel out if you subscribe and hit the bell button. Also, we also are on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, where you can follow us at Follow HomeKit, where we're constantly putting out the latest news about HomeKit and its smart home platform. Now moving on to the thread performance, and this is the biggest feature of the CT3, is the ability to connect via thread to HomeKit. And based on my testing, it does this very well. The speed in which the CT3 reacts is fast, and based on my testing, I had no issues with drop connection or slow response. To ensure I got a good understanding, I tested this without the sensor attached to anything and control the opening and closing using my hands. The speed in which the sensor reacts is fast, and based on my testing, I've had no issues with drop connection. I then tested it on my door for a number of days, and again, no issues with response times and connection. It all works as expected, and it did the job it was designed to do. Now moving on to the Onvis app and device maintenance. The Onvis app, first of all, is basic. I'm reading the reviews on the App Store before I installed it. I was genuinely hoping it was going to be better, but quite frankly, it's not. At its basic level, it shows you if this sensor is active and either open or close. Then tapping on the sensor icon, you're presented with other details, a connection method, the battery status, and logs menu. At the top of the screen, you also have settings option, and tapping this reveals details about the device firmware updates, the connection details, states of the sensor, and more details battery status. Going back to the device main menu, you have a logs menu, and this is supposed to present a log of open and close states, but this does not appear to be working at all. It showed a random number, and I've certainly not opened and closed this many times during my time with testing it. Overall, the Onvis app is below average, and it could do with a redesign and some of these bugs removing. Now, looking at battery replacement and to ensure I looked at everything, I also replaced the battery and I don't think Onvis thought this through. Remember at the beginning when I said Onvis had stuck a label on the side of the device? Well, you do need to peel this off to open the case. That would not normally be an issue, but the glue used on the label is not great and it didn't stick back on very well. So if it's on something like a door, then this could easily fall off and be lost. And if you've thrown the box away and you have to go for a warranty replacement, then you haven't got the serial number. And this could potentially present a challenge. However, that being said, the battery replacement was very easy. It simply opened the case, you replace the battery and you close the case again. So that side of things worked okay. But it's details like the app and design choices that some users could measure on this on when you compare to brands like Eve and Akara that focus on details and deliver solid apps, then this sets the benchmark. And I think Onvis really need to focus on the details because they are on to a pretty good product with this. So my review summary. When I first saw the CT3 sensor, I thought it was on the large size. And this was purely based on the marketing materials released by Onvis and looking at some of the videos that were available online. But having the device in my home now, it's not that big. The setup was a breeze and the fact I got the device up and running in around 10 minutes is always positive. The standout feature is thread support and this works great with no noticeable delays or issues with losing connection. Although it is a shame that the Onvis CT3 will not support Matter, which could be a downside for some people that want to run a multi-smart home ecosystem in their home. But the little details like the sticker not going on correctly after battery replacement and the Onvis app not being great slightly impact good product. So what are the other options out there? As I've already mentioned, the CT3 has competitors at the time of this review. The Eve door and window sensor works with Thread and recently has been updated to Matter and it's only £5 more. I have the Eve sensor in my home and it's been rock solid for over a year now. Then you have the Akara sensor, which is smaller, cheaper, around £16, plus it supports thread via the Akara M2 hub. But with the Akara, you do need that additional hub, so that's extra expense if you're not already in. But if you're already in with Akara and you've got a number of devices, this is a strong alternative. However, that being said, the CT3 is a solid device and it does what it says on the tin. Yes, it does not support Matter and they poorly put together the Onvis app. But if you're all in in HomeKit and that's all you want to use it for, 
then none of these features should distract you from a good product. Plus, the Envy CT3 is very competitive at $29.99 for a single pack, but if you want better value and you need more of these, then Onvis offer a two pack for $39.99. And I think this is incredible value for this type of sensor with Fred's support. So that's a wrap on this review. Hopefully you found it useful. And if you have, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you've got any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section below. And if I know the answer, I will get back to you. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's greatly appreciated. Check out the other videos. They might help you out. And also check out our social media channels at Follow HomeKit on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Thank you very much. I'll speak to you soon.